Hi everybody and welcome back to Simply Scuba. Today I typed dive computer into Google and I'm answering the questions that people also ask questions from these search results. So let's jump straight into the first one. What makes a good dive computer? A good dive computer will be something that you can look at and know what situation you're in. You want a nice clear screen with information that you can read and understand at a glance. Color screens on the Shearwater Perdix or the Sunto Eon Core or the D5, they make this very easy as they can color code key information and alerts to draw your attention to the information that you need to look at instead of everything else. Otherwise, a good user interface is always essential. Uh, something that you can use makes a dive computer much more practical than something that you have no idea how to use it. Personally, I always prefer a dive computer with lots of buttons so that you can navigate it easily instead of just having one single button to try and figure out if you've got multiple buttons. This makes it a lot easier. And a lot of computers now can connect to an app on your phone for easy pre-dive setup. And rechargeable batteries as well. They're becoming more and more prevalent in dive computers so that you can just top up the batteries between dives. So yeah, look for some of those features. That's kind of what makes a, a good dive computer nowadays. Do dive computers have GPS? Some dive computers do have GPS today, yes. Um, it's not a huge feature that you're gonna find on a lot of dive computers, but you're starting to see them on a few of the top end computers nowadays. Most dive computers with GPS are multi-sport dive computers like the Garmin Descent, the, the, the Mark II and the G1. Something that does scuba diving, but it also does like running and hiking and all sorts of stuff. You can wear them to yeah, sort of go do whatever it is, as well as scuba diving. So they have GPS and they have all the scuba diving features as well. It is a nice feature so that you can log entry and exit points of where you've been diving, but GPS doesn't really work underwater. So it can't map your dive because GPS signals don't travel well through water, but it can log where you started your descent and where you popped your head back up on the surface. Um, but yeah, GPS does exist in certain dive computers, but at the moment it's mainly limited to multi-sport computers such as the, uh, the Garmin Descent G1 and the, uh, the Mark II. What's the difference between a dive computer and a dive watch? A dive computer has depth sensors and an algorithm inside to work out when it's safe to ascend and they alert you to anything that you're doing wrong. Dive computers are a safety device to keep us safe in the water and to reduce the amount of calculations and complicated bits that we need to do in and out of the water. Before dive computers, we just had dive tables and to we had dive watches which were and still are just simple and reliable timepieces to time your dive so that you know how long you've been at a certain depth in the water and then you can work out based on the tables when it was safe to ascend. All dive watches, they'll have a bezel that turns in one direction with a ratchet mechanism and a little arrow at the 12. You set that at the start of the dive so that that 12 arrow points at the minute hand. And then as time passes throughout the dive, the minute hand moves around and the minute hand is pointing to your elapsed dive time. But a dive watch is very much just a watch. Very few actually monitor depth or decompression in any way. That's what your dive computer's for. So that's the main difference. Your dive watch just tells the time, but your dive computer has all the depth sensors and algorithms inside to keep you safe. When did dive computers become popular? Way back in the days, there were a few analog dive computers. I mean, you say dive computers, just mechanisms that would work out your decompression and plenty of divers and companies out there would create their own little gadgets to work out when it was safe to, uh, to ascend. But it wasn't until like the, the 1980s that mass produced dive computers similar to what we would know today would be produced and sold commercially. Sunto was one of the big names out there that first created a dive computer that was made commercially and 
they're still about today. I think Sunto is probably one of the, if not the biggest dive computer manufacturers out there. But it probably wasn't until like the 1990s, the 2000s, when dive computers became a standardized piece of a diver's equipment. Today, every single diver should really have their own dive computer. There are some great budget options uh, if you want to save some money, but a lot of dive boats won't let you go on a dive without your own computer. So of course they make you rent one if you don't have one. So it's best to invest in your own. How big should a dive watch be? There is a range of sizes when it comes to screen size on dive computers and watches. For dive computers, we have large screen computers that can either display very large digits if you have poor eyesight or just a lot of information all on one screen so you don't have to cycle through multiple screens. You get that or you get smaller watch size dive computers that you can wear all uh, sort of day to day that display the same information, just smaller. They're typically larger than normal wristwatches, but they can still be worn day to day, uh, especially if you have larger wrists. For watches though, just wristwatches, they tend to have pretty large faces with a diameter of about 28 mil. Some a little bit larger, some a little bit smaller. 28 mil is that good size to display everything easily and remain clear without becoming too large on the wrist. If you do have skinny wrists, you do get some that go down to about 22 mil. They're also available. They're often marketed for female divers, but hey, if it fits, who cares really? No one's gonna know. Um, you wanna be able to read everything at a glance without it becoming trim weight on one wrist and kind of leaning you over to one side because it's so big and bulky. If you have any questions about diving computers, by all means, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you use the hashtag AskMark uh, by typing hashtag AskMark, all one word, no spaces, it might get featured in next week's Q&A. And of course, remember to head over to simplyscuba.com where we sell a few dive computers, some pretty snazzy ones uh, that you might have heard of from a lot of the top top diving brands like Shearwater, Garmin, Sunto, Aqualung, many, many more. Um, there'll be a link down in the description below. Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.